Thank you. Come on, come on up here. <clears throat> Jerry, I'm Jerry. <clears throat> Uh, Slavo ran his own construction business, I hear, so like I said, he has gone on to lead a, a, real, <clears throat> a real full and successful life. Um, and Slavo, I hear, was a Marine Raider, okay? And I know there were very few of those guys. Uh, and I know that fewer of them came home. So, uh, you know, I'm very just intrigued to hear about how that happened to you. Uh, how did you how did you end up being a marine and how did you end up being a marine raider and how did you end up being in that unit so would you mind just sure. thanks jeff for asking me here and thanks uh, jerry uh how uh, um, how you got here uh, in world war ii is you're young patriotic you loved your country and we all joined and there was no big deal Besides that, it's not nice to talk about because you lost a lot of them. And when I was in the Raiders, I lost a lot of great friends and it's nothing to really talk about. Uh, it brings back a lot of bad memories and uh, who cares? <laughs> uh, I hope that today, the young people of today uh, realize how lucky they are to live in this country. And all of us are here. And, like, we know about how, how great it is to be an American. In the United States of California. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really have a lot to talk about because I don't want to talk about the past uh, in the reflection that uh, they already gave their lives 18, 19 years old, and they were never, they paid the price for all of us. So um, I want to thank Jeff and everybody here for everything. And uh, God bless you all. Could you tell us a little bit about your training? Uh, I think we'd all be interested in just knowing a little bit about that. Uh, Carlos in, uh, was in China uh, working on guerrilla warfare. And in uh, 1941, we were in bad shape. And President Roosevelt called on him. He was in the Army at that time. Uh, he asked him if it's possible that we could have some kind of offense to uh, raise the morale of the American uh, public. And he says, sure. And uh, we can't do much because we were in bad shape at that time. Uh, but he, uh, got, he interviewed 7,000, he picked up 1,000, showed them how to fight guerrilla warfare. And he invaded M Macon Island with one, one battalion. And the rest of us went to Midway. and. Uh, as you know, Macon Island was the first offense of the American uh, American uh, forces. And uh, Roosevelt thanked him for that, and he uh, was uh, one of the greatest men I ever met. And, uh, and that's how it all happened. So when did you get out of the military? You started in Midway, and what started you I got out of the war when the war was over. Uh -huh. And uh, I was in and out of the hospital and all that stuff, but uh, when the war was over, I got out. I wasn't a ranger, I was a raider. And uh, no, I didn't do it overseas. He trained us at, uh, out of Camp Pendleton. Uh, we learned our, he picked a thousand and we went to guerrilla warfare. Yeah. And then we went to Pearl Harbor and from there he took, he had a division, which is a thousand. He took one company and went to Macon and the rest of us went to Midway. That's how it all was. How many, <coughs> how many islands uh, were the Raiders involved in? We were involved in uh, Guadalcanal. Bougainville, the Solomon Islands in general, Guam, uh, Okinawa, and not Iwo Jima. So we, we went up and down, and we were out and in, and a lot of us didn't make it all the, all the way. Uh, we had to go in the hospital and here and this and that, but anyhow. 
Were diseases a problem where you were? I had malaria and Did jaundice and all that stuff. Was that fairly typical of all you guys then, all that if that you're there, you're going to get yeah. that stuff? Oh, yeah, we didn't. You were young, 18. I mean, you do anything. Yeah. Nothing could defeat you. Okay. I think everybody should give Slavo a hand here because I know that he he turned down a Purple Heart with two or three other Marines, right? Three other Marines? Because he said it at the time, what did you say? They gave their lives and they want to give us the, the same award for, and we're still around. <laughs> so he, he turned down a Purple Heart. Uh, uh, because it was the right thing to do. So let's give this guy a hand. Hoorah! I'm wondering if.